गाइज वॉट्स आप माई नेम इज रजत वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल वी एफ एक्स वर्ल्ड सो गाइज टूडे आई विल शो यू वन मोर एक्साइटिंग ट्यूटोरियल इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन मेक ए कूल टू डी टू थ्री डी इमेज बाई यूजिंग न्यूक प्रोजेक्शनिंग प्रोसेस दिस विल लॉट ऑफ फन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट गेट स्टार्ट so now we are in my system and this is nuke version x11 i mean 11x this is the most released updated version so now what we have to do we have to import our base image which i already captured so just i import those pics like this okay guys i have one more monitor so don't be confused that where i'm importing this kind of photos from like suddenly so those mo that monitor is not recording right now so just now select this one and uh, just connect with this and you can see this image so this is our main image where i already have some uh, work in photoshop the exactly what i did i will tell you that thing is this is some uh, windows over there only three windows i am doing this thing in png so right now this white area is, is almost like png if you will add premult here it will automatically see through from there okay so our basic policy is we have to convert this 2d image from a 2d to 3d by using nuke projectioning system so let's get started first of all you have to change this settings like press s on keyboard and this is our project settings panel now select from 10 to 1 okay so 1 okay now change the full size format from 2k to this one 2500 into 1669 which is the photo resolution okay now we are all done to go Okay <clears throat> now I just changed this view to workspace and uh, sorry not workspace yeah workspace and let's large viewer so now you can see the viewer is in large then press F to fit to screen there's a large view now just save this first let's save it here is like desktop and project 3D now press save Okay now what i have to do i have to take something which is like by pressing tab you can directly search from here okay first of all you have to search like sc is called scenes then next is scanline renderer otherwise you can't render this kind of thing because this will convert a 3d scene from 2d next the most important which is a camera Just like camera. Now connect this one to scanline renderer, and the camera to go camera. And the scene should go here. Okay, the basic thing is done. You can see if you convert it from 2D to 3D, the shortcut is V. This is our 3D environment is already set. This camera is actually this camera, and the scene is obviously the 3D scene. So now we have our own 3D scene. So now get back to the 2d scene press f on keyboard for fit to screen next what you have to do you have to take some 3d cards here by aligning all this in a very similar way then you can convert it from 2d to 3d so now just go okay now i'll take by pressing tab on keyboard c a r d card here it will look like this then just connect it to the scene here and connect this image to here then you can see if you go to 3d view you can exactly see the curd is like image is applying on this card as a texture but in this process and method you can't achieve that much output so now by using this image i am adding a checkerboard c h e a checkerboard as a texture and connect it over here now double click on that curd double click and you have your own z axis and just drag it to the z depth when you go to this 2d view 
you can see the card is in now z depth you should push it more in z depth slightly is like this now if you go to this 2d view you can see your very own 2d to 3d i mean sorry this 3d card now you have to align this card so on rotation panel i just randomly typing this like 90 so if when you press 90 see the z axis is down so you have to press minus 90 on keyboard so now it's flip it up then select the z axis and drag it down so now you have your flow is already is like this fill it here so what i have to do as you see the floor is not aligned properly the main major part in this uh, tutorial you have to align this floor to this floor by a proper perspective so now i'll just change these values rotation values for adjusting this uh, perspective in proper way so just rotate it randomly okay this is uh, zero uh, y-axis rotation i have to rotate it in z depth okay I think it should go into Y as well. So just rotate it in X direction. See now it's coming a little little bit proper. And I think yes. Okay. Yeah, this one is pretty good. Now just <coughs> scale this one on uh, to fit this much values on this thing. Now when you uh, scale this slightly and you should fill this properly see the whole floor is now set properly little more scale slightly like yes now it's fine just pull a little bit down here yeah cool now we already aligned this floor here properly but see this area is not aligned see so now you have to align this area as well so just drag it slightly here okay then uh, just go to this rotation panel and rotate it slightly up and now it's properly aligned so guys now you are aligned here properly next thing you have to add the floor the floor adding process is very easy because you already aligned this thing here so now next thing what you have to do is just select this card and press ctrl c on keyboard and ctrl v here so now then connect it to the scene and image just press Ctrl S by safety purpose then double click on this card and you will get your second axis here and drag it to the top so now it's going up to the top and same thing you have to do here you have to press plus 93.53 so then you have to flip it up but the major part is you already scale and rotate it from here so don't do this just drag it like here it's very nice okay then just align it actually what happened when you align this floor properly you don't have to align that uh, top part properly because it's already almost aligned if the perspective is not changed uh, like in image so now it's already yeah it's perfectly aligned so now go to this 3d scene and let's see once that how it's look like so guys it should look like this which is pretty nice <coughs> okay so next go to again the 2d view and just select this card and control c control v and connect it sorry connect it here and connect it to the here and then double click on it and drag it a little up and what i have to do i just press all this in zero 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 scale is also zero so now we have our default card so then double click on that card and just move it oh sorry go to this 3d view i just want to say the scale is in zero so just press one sorry yeah now it's coming perfect so now it's in 2d view the card is properly visible so now in rotation press 90 on keyboard and now it's rotated properly then select the z axis and drag it to the z i mean in z d the z depth on this left part and the same thing here you have to do as well like you have to align it in this position properly otherwise the projection will not happen correctly so now let's go to the studio view and aligning properly so now i have to again rotation mode properly for aligning this thing so just 
start align it okay and yes okay when it will align i will get back to you it will take some time because it's a little trickier part so you guys have to align it properly in this mode so i'll get back to you when it will complete okay so what i did uh, i just fast forward all this thing and i already aligned this wall and this wall all together because it will take some time and you guys will bored then and i don't want that my subscribers and my friends and my colleagues will bore after watching this kind of tutorial so now what i have to do the last part is let's to fill this area by selecting the same card copy and just go and paste it over there and just connect it here connect it and connect it to here the same thing you have to do is like zero and the scale value is also like one but in this case you have to do one more thing which is the most interesting part ever in my this t tutorial what you have to do first of all is obviously have to push this to this end here like this which is good now <coughs> after um, applying the projection process then I will show the most interesting part is what now the our <coughs> 3d I mean like almost a checkerboard box room is completed next thing is just deselect this one by pressing D on keyboard and disconnect all these lines here because our card is already aligned press ctrl s for save and next you have to do select a dot d o t and connect all these things here because you can control these dots uh, sorry this dot from uh, to the project 3d node next you have to select a take a project 3d node for projectioning purpose now select this camera to this camera and select this one to this BG and now this one will connect to this so when you connect this to here you can see the if whole image is projectioning here in this card which is the really interesting part see the whole image is projecting here cool right now go to this camera one and you can see this your whole image is looking exactly same like original if you go to the 2d view you can see the exactly image is look like this and when you go to this 3d view you will see your whole output so now it's camera view and if you wish you can select this one because this will render it out when uh, you done this thing the next part is that one which I already loved now go to this 3d view and select here now I will add here something sorry and uh, like okay now this windows as I told in before that these windows are in PNG so now take a pre mult pre re pre sorry pre comp here not is pre mult pre pre mult and when you connect it here see the whole image is distorted and the whole card is applying is here so you have to adjust it which is a very trickier part so I just showing little bit and you have to adjust it by you your own so it's actually what you have to do you have to connect this all corners in this image corner and it's looking like little bit in a trickier but when you start doing this it will become very easy so guys when it will complete I'll get back to you still then just jump okay so <coughs> I already aligned this thing here and uh, the next thing is you have to take a new camera for projecting uh, sorry for moving part because this camera is fixed for projection if you turn this camera off the projection will distort it see okay so next thing what you have to do is uh, select this camera and control C and control V so what happened is this new camera is make is already made a new position uh, sorry in a new scene and in the same position so now select this camera button and connect it to the scene and now you have your new camera which will move in this animation so now go to this 2d uh, sorry in 3d camera part 
and um, select this camera double click and you can see your second camera is here so now when you move this camera you can see exactly the 3d view okay so now go to this translate and set key rotation set key scale is also set key i think don't, no need to the scale but i just uh, turned this on so your first frame uh, sorry just control z control z first frame is one select this set key and just like set key and the last frame is 100 frame and move this camera here go to this camera to view select this one and see this is your last movement so when you uh, play this you can see your whole image is projecting like this which is a pretty interesting part so in your last frame you can position it more by adding here or you can just i think this is really nice the project actually what happens guys i really love this projection process because it's it's really cool i don't know you already love this or not but if you say me yes i, I just definitely definitely like this thing because this is pretty 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 cool thing whatever i have learned in my whole career this thing is really nice so now i have already done my animation which is this one so when you play it will be look like this which is the coolest part ever so now you have your own 3d projection i mean room already you have done so in this part like 50 frames i think this should go zero because i don't want the animations here so i want like after this the camera will go down it's like this see it's pretty good cool right okay the next thing is the funniest part i have uh, already done this before in photoshop is here is actually one character was there i just clean this up and i clean whole area so now i'll add this character here and uh, i'll show you how to do this thing just go to this default view and just see it's done and uh, just drag that character here see the new character just press ctrl s for save and uh, turn this bg off projection uh, sorry it's a big mistake just uh, arrange it properly otherwise you can't uh, find that where is your things are okay so now this is my main character i just turn this little bit bigger for viewing purpose delete this checkerboard and select this and take a new card and um, card and one more pre-mult so when you take all this together and uh, when you connect this card to the scene i think not i think i am pretty sure that uh, just it will be double click here and uh, just a second so sorry it's my mistake So now my character is here. So just I'm dragging this on that Z position and go to this camera view because I would just want to sure that how my character will look like when it's in 3D space. Just drag it here, slow it down. It will go more, more 3D space. Just go to this default view. If you wish you can position it here but i don't think this is perfect because actually what you are doing that should be like original then your main magic will happen see it's here now reposition it and rescale it select this card and just scale it like uniform scale position it here i think it's a little bit bigger no it's perfect just position it yeah it's perfectly aligned so now when you play this thing you can see the whole animation okay the next the last part just go to the studio view you can see your uh, main output is actually looking like this now go to this again the 3d view 
and the default camera view and I'll just add like a environment here because otherwise the whole PNG part will not work so I just have one picture with me and uh, whatever I have to do you can choose any kind of environment but make sure that should that should obviously I mean um, positioning properly and that will uh, be proper for that picture otherwise your whole thing will become really really fake so I just drag my new photo here which is this one I just showing you this thing this is a new photo it's like a BG just select this and just press one here and go to this 3d view and what I have to do and just select a card CRD card and uh, connect it to here and connect this to this image and see this is visible here and drag it to the Z depth far and far and far Just like this and scale it a little more bigger just scale it like this pretty cool now go to this 2d view and position it properly it's a little big higher little slower okay now I uh, just yeah this is almost aligned slightly little, little big slightly and align it okay now it's aligned properly now take a grade node here connect it to here and just change something a little bit it's like multiply to be lower black spot is like a little fit okay multiply should go high brighter and little more green white point okay next add some blur because it's far from here so now take the blur value to like two no it's too little more ten yes ten is very big five I think oh uh, yeah five is very nice okay press F on keyboard and go to this 3d view camera 2 and when you see that your output will be looking like this okay this is for the today guys hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and uh, have fun